Welcome to this section in learning Elasticsearch 6 entitled, The Power of Queries. In this section, we'll start by getting an introduction to the Elasticsearch RESTful API. We then move into using the RESTful API to search a cluster. Next, we look into using the Update API and how it is applied to documents. We follow that up with a look at the DSL, which is the Domain Specific Language. We also take a more in-depth look at DSL by diving into queries and filters. And finally, we close out the section with a look at exist queries. Introduction to RESTful API. The RESTful API facilitates easy interaction with an Elasticsearch cluster. More specifically, it facilitates communication over HTTP through use of verbs such as get, put, update, and delete. These are essentially commands or methods as they're often called. It allows you to interact using the web clients or command line as well. And cluster interaction is greatly simplified. HTTP verbs are methods used to execute commands over hypertext transfer protocol. Again, going back to the relational database analogy, create would be synonymous with post, read synonymous with get, update would be synonymous with post and put. In the case of post, as we'll see, it's a partial update, whereas put, you replace the document with a new document. So it's a complete update and delete. Now let's look at the makeup of a request string. Viewing the example command line query string, we can see that a string starts with a verb, which is the HTTP method used to execute commands, as we said before, say like get, put, post, and delete. And then there's the protocol, HTTP in this case, the host. We've been using local host because a local version of our system is running. The default port of Elasticsearch is 9200, of course. And we also have the path which identifies the location where the command should be directed. Index, type, document, doc ID, etc. At the end, we have the body. The body holds advanced query calls via DSL, data, and more. This is how the long version in command line looks. This is the curl equivalent. And there's a shorthand version. In Elasticsearch documentation, you will most often see the shorthand version of a query string. Basically, the shorthand version is easier to read and much faster to type because it removes all the redundant parts of a query. Keep this in mind. In addition, when we're using Kibana, if you can recall, we used a short version. Elasticsearch makes available clients in various languages for those who prefer to use language-specific interfaces. Elasticsearch provides clients for, for example, Groovy, JavaScript, .NET, PHP, Perl, Python, and more. We won't be covering much in the way of language-specific implementations because that's outside the scope of this course. And that concludes this video.